Hey, what's up? This is Hans Alligood from Woe Is Me, and you're watching RichardThinks.org. Hey everybody, this is Richard of RichardThinks.org. Today we are at the Orlando Vans Warp Tour. I have with me Hans of Woe Is Me. How are you doing today, sir? Fantastic, dude. How are you? Good. Now, let's start this off. Everybody on the tour has that one band that they've been wanting to see. What band has that been for you? Um, well, they're actually not even on the tour anymore. They dropped off a couple of days ago, but for me it was Story of the Year. Oh, yeah. They were one of my favorite bands like when I was younger, and then, you know, I still listen to their like all their records. Never got to see them live until Warp Tour, and it was next level dude oh, like yeah. they still got it oh it's, it's definitely awesome. i actually caught them i was at the, uh, the the columbia tour the columbia maryland tour i caught their ah, set it was okay. so good so i i understand where you're coming from with that yeah. now you guys have the american dream ep come, dropping august 20th can you tell me a little bit about that yeah basically it's a uh, best buy exclusive you can actually pre-order it right now on uh, bestbuy.com it's uh yeah american dream ep five songs stand up is included in that and then there's uh two full band songs two acoustic songs uh, other, there's okay, so there's three full band in total. Three full band. Okay, right, so three full band. Three full band songs, <laughs> two acoustic, all brand new material. Oh, okay. No reuse, none of that like you know, acoustic cover of yeah. another song. It's all brand new. Uh, it's definitely a step in a direction that we felt like we wanted to go with Genesis, but we're not able to for certain reasons. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of a step, you know, uh, into a more structured sound, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, a little less chaos, a little more. You know, uh, repetition and 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 uh, catcher hooks. Yeah, uh, for I definitely sure. felt that in stand up. And see, like, that's that's yeah. the thing with stand up yeah. is like we that was our first, what was me's introduction into repeating choruses. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a hook, something to remember the song by. So, yeah, I um, just like I just remember like in the storytelling, like it, you got like the and you don't have the backbone. You know, repetitive, right, little bit repetitive, right. but not as repetitive stand up. Yeah, and but it's not overdone and step up. I mean, not step up, stand up. Sorry, <laughs> and but it sounds really great now. What, uh, the American Dream, the American Dream EP cover. So what? I, I see it like it's barcodes. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah. Basically, uh, with with the whole the whole barcode thing in American Dream, it's like um, there's a saying that goes, "To get money, you have to have money." Mm -hmm. You know, money is the rules the world, whatever. So it's like this. You know, as as musicians, everyone thinks that we just live some lavish lifestyle. We make like tons of money and mm -hmm. stuff. And so we're just trying to say like regardless of how much money we make which is not a lot by the way we're broke um and starving no nah, not we're not starving but um no we, we we make enough money to get by you know and for us it's not it's not about the money it's not about like who's got this who's got that like who's driving what car like all that stuff you know what i mean like this is just our american dream and so we put the barcode on there to represent that whole ideal of you know to get money to have your american dream you got to have money you know that kind of represents that, and then uh, as you as you read through the lyrics, when you get the EP, you'll start to understand more about that concept. So, so how was like writing this EP compared to like writing Genesis, and then I guess since you wrote since you wrote uh, Vengeance with the band in the beginning as well. Um, it was it, it's definitely American Dream as far as writing goes was a, more of a group effort mm -hmm. as opposed to just like a couple people having their hands in everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just—it was like a collective effort, man. We all sat down and talked about what we wanted to write about, the topics we wanted to cover, and the messages that we wanted to convey, and how we wanted everything to sound. And we just—we just did it as a group, man. Like we all had. Like I sat down with Doriano, and and he was actually able to to write his own vocal parts, mm -hmm. and you know we worked on that together. Mm -hmm. um, as far as Genesis goes, like the the differences are like like I said, we just had more freedom to do what we wanted to do, mm -hmm. and we also talk about that in one of the songs. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, as, it, it, as you dig deep into the lyric, uh, lyrical content of American Dream, you'll, you'll start to see oh, yeah. where exactly we're coming from with this new message and where we want to go with it in the future. Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely a step away from like the bitter, hateful yeah. you know, messages that kind of yeah. came out through Genesis. But um, yeah, I mean, like I so said, you know, it's, that, it's, yeah. it's, it's uh, just a step in a more positive, driven direction, you know what I mean? Yeah, like I don't want to sound like cliche and cheesy, but like I really felt like kind of like inspired, like when I, when I was listening to the song, you know, like the, especially the part maybe you're just the, maybe you're just the, maybe I'm just a boy with the dream. All yeah. you have to do is believe. So I felt like, yeah, that's like you yeah, know, it was definitely I mean, it definitely feels like a different direction. I like it. You know, it's 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 like I always tell people, I, I the the line maybe you're just someone with a dream, but your mm -hmm. dreams are so close you just have to believe it. Perfect example. Before I joined Woe Is Me, I was working at a Hot Topic folding mm -hmm. Woe Is Me shirts. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And yeah. now it, I'm here. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. It, it's, I want to give people hope because somebody had hope in me 
and all I had to do was believe in myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All you got to do is just believe it, man. Like, oh, yeah, definitely. you can do anything, and that's, you know, obviously that's the message of Stand Up and a couple of the other tracks from American Dream, for sure. Right on. Now, I got to ask you, so, you know, obviously you guys have had some, you know, struggles with as staying us together as a group, and yeah. what would you be your advice to, like, bands out there, like, you know, newer bands to, like, you know, deal with those conf internal conflicts that the public generally doesn't see? Um, basically, a good way to deal with internal conflict is to not, like, form cliques around who's saying what and, like, what's going on. The best way to approach that kind of stuff is just go heads on. Like, don't be afraid to voice your opinion. Don't be afraid to sit everyone down and have group discussions, regardless of how heated it may get, regardless of if one person's feelings may get hurt over something. Mm -hmm. It's it's a collective effort, man. It's, it's a democracy, you know what I mean? At the end oh, of the yeah. day, everyone has, should have an equal say. And at the end of the day, what's best for the band is best for the band. You know what I mean? Definitely. Regardless of, you know, if I don't like something, but the rest of the band wants to do it, then we're going to do it. Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter. At the end of the day, it's better for the band. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just don't let, don't let internal conflict cause, you know, cause you to just dislike someone. Yeah. And, and then, because it just, it just tears people apart, man. It really does. And that's, you know, it's been evident through our past, you know, lineup changes. But yeah, it's... All you got to do is sit down and talk about it, man. If there's anything going yeah. on, don't start arguments with people. Just talk it out. Mm -hmm. Just sit down. There you go. Be Tell cool, it is. Calm and collected. Everything will be okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Band Discussion 101 by Hans Good. Now, we're going, to, we're going to the part of the interview where I hit you with three random questions. Ready? Yeah. All right. Now, if you could see any band or artist, interv uh, not interview, sorry, uh, cover a Woe Is Me song, what song would you like to see covered? Uh, the band, the, the, the song and band? Song and band, yeah. Any song and Dang, any band, dude. any genre. Uh, to give you a, a little quick example, um, the guys in, uh, the guys in Upon a Burning Body actually I wanted Michael Jackson to cover one of the songs. And, and then some other bands wanted Pantera and some other bands wanted We're Al. So just to kind of give you a little bit of example right there. Um, it's okay, I'm going to reverse the, reverse the tables here. We actually have covered a couple Katy Perry songs and a couple Kesha songs. I think it would be really, really weird and interesting to see Kesha cover one of our tracks. From the new album? From any, uh, uh, any uh, song? Anything. Oh, okay. uh, I told you once. Oh, okay, there you go. If oh. Kesha covered I Told You Once, I would roll, I, I don't know, that'd I be awesome. Know. I don't know, I think the internet would implode upon itself. I agree, that'd be crazy. <laughs> All right, now if you could pick three albums to take on a road trip with you, what albums would you pick? They're Only Chasing Safety by Under Oath, Tell All Your Friends by Taking Back Sunday, and Page Avenue by Story of the Year. Very solid choices. And if you had to bring three items with you to survive on a desert island, what three items would you bring with you? Um... Okay, so I'm on a desert island, so that rules out cell phone. Uh, a way to, like, uh, like shelter. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let you have solar-powered items, because everybody's solar like... Solar-powered yeah, items? There you go. There okay, you go. You all right. So I would take, like, a solar-powered... Uh, a solar-powered stove, mm -hmm. I guess, and then, like, somehow to make weapons, mm -hmm. so I could go out into the wild and kill food and then cook there it on the go. solar powered stove there you go under my shelter so there that's three go. things there you go now is there anything else that you plug in you guys anything going on past warp tour yeah actually uh we have a little bit of time off after the tour and then october we hit the studio with tom denny to work on our next full-length record mm -hmm. immediately after that we go to the uk for a headlining tour we're taking out our friends in our last night and that'll be a wrap on the year for us we got some things coming up after that, but I can't talk about it yet. So <laughs> right on. Well, thank you very much again for your time, Hans. Yeah, dude. Hans Holly, good of what was me. American Dreamy P comes out August 20th through Best Buy and Rise Records. We will see you later. Peace.